now, transaxle in our race cars, really the new term for gearbox and differential combined. You remember for many, many years, both in your road car still is, and was in a V8 supercar, the gearbox was right here beneath me, beneath the gear shift. Well now, it's moved about a metre and a half backwards. Let's take a look. So here I am underneath a brand new DJR Team Penske Falcon, and you can see exactly where that transaxle is positioned. That's it there. So that's the differential part of it, and the gearbox is part of it, but just forward of it. Now what that allows to happen is to have independent suspension. So we have suspension arms out both sides. We don't have a fixed diff like we used to have. And the other thing it does, by bringing the gearbox rearward, it actually gives the car a nicer weight distribution and makes a supercar a lot more like a race car. So here's our Albin's transaxle when it's out of the car. Now this is obviously stood on its end facing that way. The drive shaft from the engine goes up there and the drive shafts out to the rear wheels go out here. So this is the differential part and this is the gearbox part, hence it's called a transaxle. Now inside there are six forward gears, they're controlled, everyone must have the same gears. And on the front here is what's called a drop gear case. And inside there is a pair of these, these are called drop gears. And if you change the amount of teeth on that one versus that one, you change the whole ratio of the car and the speed it can do and the revs it gets. So we change those from Bathurst to Clipsal, etc. but everyone has to say, do the same thing. Now, what's really cool about this, it's actually made in Ballarat, Australia, and exported to the world. Good